Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Um, I want to do a video here because uh, I think a lot of people would like to replace their uh, gauge lights. The incandescent bulbs on these cars uh, are not very bright. And once you put LEDs in them, they make a huge difference. I need to get this, wrestle this out by tilting down the, uh, the steering column as far as you can go. Um, it's it's not easy. Everything gets caught up in here, and it's 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 uh, it's very difficult. Let's start from uh, telling you what you need to start with. You need seven millimeter bolts right there that hold that uh, are in here. You've got four push pins here, here, and here uh, to go right there there and a couple over here and they just pop out um, it is advantageous to pull this out the bottom there are two seven millimeter screws one there one there and right here there are two just um, just regular screws that need to come out and then that pops out obviously you need to take that out which is your uh your remote uh your trunk so and that's what that looks like right here so the trick really i find is you need to get let me see if i get a bit more light in here you need to that push pin out, that out, and there's, again, there is, there's one there, one there, and one there, one there. See this, you need to get up in here, get your finger up in here, hold that black part down, and then pull it out a little bit, so you get one, and you get your finger up in here and get the other one get it started and i did the same thing on the other side here get my finger in here we can move this around get your finger up in here pull it the top ones here i pulled this one off first and then put a little bit of you know tape back back there so it wouldn't snap back down um, and i did the same thing here so the benefit now is you can actually take this plastic piece out just be careful wiggling it out and there you have it that plastic piece comes out now that that is out this is much easier to get out like so I would not do the turn signals, which are this one and this one. I would leave those, put, go get some new um, regular bulbs because um, they're bright. And I think the high beam one, which I believe is over here, is uh, pretty bright at night. I would just leave that incandescent. But you can just go and uh, just turn these like this. And uh, that's the bulb. It is a 195, I believe. Um, could be a 194. I'm not exactly sure. I'd, I'd have to look again. But I would highly recommend that you get good quality bulbs. Um, GE Sylvania bulbs I got from AutoZone. Um, they're very, very good quality. Getting these clips out and then pulling the plastic out makes it much, much easier to get this, um, get this gauge cluster back in. So anyway, put it in and lock it in place. Everything was down to zero. Just move your needles down. And then you can go and put your gauge cluster back. Get rid of that piece of tape. Tilt it down. Slowly 
press it in. Okay, so now that that's in, what you want to do, you want to uh, test to see if all your lights are working and they're in the correct polarity. So as you can see, um, I did not do this correctly so that's that's part of that's I did that on purpose you want to make sure um, that these are in the right way and if they're not this is gonna have to come out so that's what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna pull this out so that light was obviously the wrong polarity so what you need to do is take it out light here take it out and then twist it put it back in line up for those black holes and you can see it's made a connection there it is fire it back up and that is now working. So that's what you have to do. And then it's just a reverse procedure. Okay, so once you get this in here, when you've tilted it down, just press and then you should hear it click on the uh, two top, um, the two top pins or like uh, clips in the two on the bottoms here so here we go oh and also make sure that you put this in which is your trip thing first and when you put this other gauge back don't bolt it in otherwise you'll be sorry so but make sure that goes in first and then you just push and here it snap Make sure everything lights up. It does. Everything's in place. So then, I won't show bore you guys with this, but uh, so what you have to do now, obviously, is just put the uh, four bolts back in. I'll do a little. Uh, I'll show you how to get this other piece in here too. It's a bit of a pain in the ass, but um, much easier though than trying to get this whole cluster out by itself in here. I'm telling you, it is a royal pain. Okay, so you wanna get your wheel down as far as you can. Be careful of these uh, clips here, they can scratch. You just have to get it around. Bend it slightly here. And just be, again, be careful of those plastic clips back here. And you can see down here, the struggling then you need to make sure you just move that out of the way like that. There you go. So line up those holes here down here There we go. A little persuasion, but uh, everything. Make sure everything snapped into place, and then get the other, the other uh, screws up here. Put those in. Tighten them up. Um, I won't bore you to death with that. And it's just a case of hooking back up your uh, trunk release. That panel over there, down. It's just a couple of screws and a couple of uh, 
little bolts nice and bright so anyway hope you enjoyed the video guys and uh, we'll catch you in the next one